We are now going to go over how to use the Excel spreadsheet in order to get the answers to the review for the math of finance uh, problems. For question number one, we want to determine the I, the N, and the P for a $500 investment at 6% compounded quarterly for three years. All right, well, remember, since we're dealing with an investment of $500, the P is the present value or the principal. The interest rate is 6%. Since it's compounded quarterly, the M has to be 4, because 4 quarters in a year. The T is 3 years. Therefore, using the formula for I, you should always have your formula sheet available. The I is going to be equal to the interest rate divided by 4. That's the periodic interest. And the N is equal to the M, which is 4 times the t, which is 3, and that gives you the answer for that particular question. Number two, what will $5,000 deposited 8% interest compounded monthly be worth in 30 years? Again, we organize this information. The first thing we have is our principal is $5,000. The interest rate is 8% compounded monthly. The time is 30 years. Since it's compounded monthly, N is equal to 12. M is equal to 12. And the N is equal to the 12 times the 30 tells us we have 360 interest periods. Using the formula for the future value, we take it's equal to the principal times open parentheses, 1 plus the i, and remember the i is the 8% divided by the 12, exponent button, the n of 360, and therefore it will be worth $54,678.65 in 30 years, telling us we earned of interest of $4,678.65. Question number three, calculate the amount after four years if $3,000 is deposited at 6% simple interest. Well, 6% simple interest tells us that we get the same interest every single year. Again, we want to find the future value, so we go to our simple interest formula, which says we take our principal times, parentheses, 1 plus the interest rate times the time, because we get 6% interest each year on the principal. And therefore, after three year, four years, we'll have $3,720, telling us we earned $720 in interest for the four-year period. Number four, how many months are required for $15,000 to grow to $1,770 at 12% interest, simple interest. All right, well, first of all, we want to calculate the amount of interest that we earn because if we use the formula I equals PRT, which is the easiest way to calculate the T, the interest rate is going to be equal to the future value minus the present value. So that tells us over T years, we earn $270 in interest. Now, using the formula I equals PRT, we want to solve for T. Dividing both sides by PR, we notice that T is equal to the interest divided by the principal times the interest rate. So remember, we have an interest rate of 12%. Therefore, using the formula, T years is going to be the interest of $270 divided by, open parenthesis, the principal of $15,000, or $1,500, excuse me, times the 12% interest. And therefore, we know that it took one and a half years to get that particular interest. Well, we want to change that to months. Now, we know that there are 12 months in a year. Therefore, we take the one and a half years times the 12 months per year, and therefore it would take 18 months in order to accumulate that amount of money. Let's continue. Question number five. We want to calculate the effective interest of 6% compounded Part A annually, which is one time a year, semi-annually, which is two times a year, 
quarterly, which is four times a year, monthly, which is 12 times a year, weekly, which is 52 times a year, daily, which is 365 times a year, and finally, continuously. Well, we can do this using just the effective interest rate for once a year. In order to do that, the easiest thing to do is to go to formulas, go to financial, and look for the word effect. Effect tells us we're taking the nominal rate, which is 6%. I would like to be able to copy this, so I'm going to press F4, or on your Mac, you're going to go to the Compose button or Control button together with the letter T. The N per is the M, the number of times per year. We have 0 0.06. We press OK, and that gives us the answer. And it really gives it to you in a decimal number. Since I did that previously, it will give us automatically in a percent. Now you want to copy this particular formula. All you're going to do is you're going to go and you're going to scroll down. And therefore, that it will give us the interest rate for annually, twice a year, quarterly, monthly, weekly, and uh, daily. Now, in order to use continuously, we use the formula. Now, remember on your formula sheet, continuously says that we take the E, which on our computer, we're going to write EX, which is the exponent button, of the 6% minus 1. And that will give us a little bit more than if we calculated it continue, uh, daily. All right, let's go to question number six. We are going to deposit $1,500, earning 3.5% interest. And again, we're going to go and deal with that annually, once a year, semi-annually, twice a year, quarterly, four times a year, monthly, which is 12 times a year, daily, which is 52 times a year, excuse me, a weekly, which is 52 times a year, and daily, which is 365 times a year, and finally, continuously. Well, again, we want to be able to do this once in order to get A through F. So we go equals, the future value is the principal. And again, we want that to be copied times, open parentheses, 1 plus, and now we're going to take the interest rate, which is going to be copied, divided by M, which is 1, close parentheses, and we're going to take exponent button N, which again is 1. Remember, because the time is one year, the M and the N are equal to one another. And therefore, after one year, we'll have $1,552.50. Again, we can copy this information. And you will notice if we go to daily, we have the $1,500 times 1 plus the 3 and 5 tenths percent divided by 365 to the 365th exponent. And that will give us that information. Now, for continuously, we're going to take the principal times and here we're going to go again to our exponent button, which is EXP. We have the interest rate because the exponent, because we're doing this again for exactly one year. We don't have to do it times T. And therefore, you notice in this particular situation, continuously and daily will give us exactly the same particular value. We will continue the answers to the following questions on the next video.